microfluidic technologies has brought about a lot of benefits for life science researchers, ranging from low sample volume requirements, lower reagent costs, faster, cheaper, and higher precision analyses. And it's this integration of microfluidic components such as channels, reservoirs, mixers, heaters, sensors, and pumps onto the same device is what we commonly call lab on a chip technologies. Unfortunately for a life scientist to migrate their existing assays from the bench scale to microfluidic scale, or if the scientist wants to develop a new assay at microfluidic scale, they have to endure a very long and painful cycle of designing, fabricating, and testing that micro microfluidic device just for that single assay. And this cycle can take anywhere from months to years and costs tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Think of it this way. Imagine that for each iPhone application that you uh, run, you had to sit down, design, and manufacture an iPhone just for that app. So you'd have your uh, iPhone for internet, one for email, uh, one for Angry Birds. Fortunately, you don't do that. You just have one single smartphone device, and you program it, or you download an app that does the application that you want. That is exactly what we have accomplished at Microfluidic Innovations. We have developed a very highly integrated, multi-purpose, software programmable lab on a chip device. By using our device, all that life scientist needs is to sit down and program the assay onto our platform, in our language, and run it onto our chips. This means that the scientist can now focus on the science rather than the design and fabrication details of this lab on a chip. Our devices can be used in many domains, ranging from drug discovery, uh, proteomics, genomics, chemical synthesis, and cell-based research. We have been able to prove at Microfluidic Innovations that our chips are capable of doing assays such as glucose level testing, uh, basic particle sorting, a basic enzyme uh, kinetic study, and we have also been able to demonstrate cell and bacteria culturing onto our chip. All on the same chip, all you need to do is change the program.